Hi folks, I'm back with another battery build uh, and test, but before I do that, I want to show you, uh, let me show you how, tell you how I made it. <clears throat> I took uh, a couple milliliters of the interclated uh, graphite with phosphoric acid, and then I mixed about 50 milliliters of distilled water, and maybe 10 milliliters of uh, weak boric acid, or uh, borax solution. And with that, and then I stirred that for about 12 hours, and then I turned the heat up and evaporated off um, most of the water, so I got a paintable uh, graphite, and then I painted a, a coat on this uh, positive electrode here, and uh, and I painted another thin coat on this piece of paper right here, and this has set set overnight, and. Uh, then I buffed the piece of paper with a, a, a cotton ball here and without painting on another coat of graphite or anything I got this down to less than 500 ohms and if I painted it with a, a, a coat of graphite and let that dry and buffed it again I'd get it down to probably about a hundred ohms that's my guess right now well let me get it over here so you can see it and this is about just about a minute a buffing. You can see that it's around 500 ohms, some places less than that. But that's just a thin, that's just a thin coat of this graphite uh, on a piece of paper. And now I want to show you, I took a couple of drops of my uh, exfoliated graphite and I stirred it around in 50, or well about 50 milliliters, maybe a little more of uh, distilled water. And that's been setting now for like three hours. And I'm going to shine it through some. This is just regular distilled water. You see that the light goes right through the the water and shines out the other side onto the table. Okay, now over here, you can see that that the light it still passes through some, but you can see that it's uh, reflecting off of the uh, graphene in in uh, that's dispersed in the water. So. Anyway, there's, there's definitely more graphene in it now that it's been exfoliated with, uh, with borax. So we're gonna, I'm going to build a battery with, with just the exfoliated uh, graphite on the electrode with no extra, no extra graphite at all for energy storage. So this battery is going to produce uh, less power, but we're going to be able to test and see exactly how good the uh, interclated uh, graphite performs in the battery. And that's the goal here. And this way we don't have any, there's no, no question about that the power is coming from um, our interclated uh, graphite. Alright, so uh, let me set up for the battery build and then I'll be back. Alright, I'm set up. Now, <coughs> what I've got here, this is just the uh, interclated graphite, one thin coat on top of that. And here's our separator paper, PVA dipped in borax. Here's our titanium dioxide dipped in PVA, or uh, PVA and titanium dioxide dipped in borax to set the film, and we're just going to put it together. Now this should only, if we, if there was nothing on the graph oil, uh, we would, this would only produce 20, maybe 25 milliamps max. So if we get much more than that out of it, we're going to know that the uh, that our interclated graphite is uh, is what's producing the extra power. And we also remember that when uh, I exfoliated with borax, the the uh, sodium in the borax replaced the hydrogen on the phosphoric acid and turned it into trisodium phosphate. So our electrolyte on this uh, on that graph foil right there is trisodium phosphate. All right, so let's put her together and test it. Oh, and I switched to uh, I couldn't see the the meter very good on the on the better. Uh, on better meter that I had, so I switched to these two cheap uh, Harbor Freight meters where you can see the uh, displays a lot better. So we're just going to put her together now and give it a test. And only water is, is that's we're putting in it is what's in this separator right here. Okay, let's throw her together and see what we got. It'd be incredible if it produced 100 milliamps, wouldn't it? 
Alrighty. I have not tested this beforehand either, so let's see what kind of voltage we get. We've got 86, 9, 87, and it's climbing. Reactions are starting to take place in there. Climbing faster now, look at that. Now there's one volt, it's still climbing. We'll let her get up to its peak and wow, it's climbing like a rocket now. Yeah. So we know trisodium phosphate works as an electrolyte already. We're up to 114. Slowing down now, 115. 16. Get my electrode ready here. Alright, looks like it's going to stop around 117 something. Alright, let's test it right there. It's real slow at that point. Well, now we're starting to come down a dab. No, no we didn't either. We just stabilized it. 117.1 pretty much. Alright, so let's see what kind of amps we got. Let me get my arm out of the way. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 100 and so Oh, it flipped over. We got over 200 milliamps out of that. Unfucking believable. Wow. That was good. So I'm going to have to switch to the 10 amp scale here. Damn. Alright, let's uh, flip this over. I can't believe that went that high. Alright. So now we are on 10 amps. Let me switch this down. Alright. Now we'll see what we get on the second charge up, and we're back to. Uh, almost 110 and we didn't get as much of a uh, voltage drop this time we dropped from what 117.1 to uh, it's going to flip to 110 here shortly alright so let's just test it right there it's close enough 109.9 alrighty get my arm out of the way ready 3 2 1 2.9 290 milliamps out of just that little tiny bit of intercalated and exfoliated graphite with a little with trisodium phosphate in it. Wow! So that works. All right, and we're still climbing, and we're going to we'll still have the voltage loss, and, and that's because we're using up water as we do this. Now I suspect this is going to run out the water real fast because the graphite was holding some extra water before and uh, I was also using a thicker piece of uh, separator paper which held more water so it's going to go to uh, 106 it looks like this time there's 106 alright let's see what we got now ready Three, two, one, two, seven. And it looks like it had pretty nice holding power too. All right, so we're dropping off on our voltage already. That's probably or our uh, amps already, most likely because we're going to be running out of water real fast on this one. There's a one volt. You can see the self charge is pretty nice though. I'm going to give it another minute or so here because I'm going to see how high it, it climbs now and then we'll see what our, what it's uh, holding. I'll be back. Alright, we're back and it's uh, stopped climbing at 103.6. So we'll test it right there and see what we got this time. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 200. Oh, it went up a little bit. 2.8 that time 280 milliamps all right I'll be back in a minute or so let's see how see if it climbs back above uh, 103 
or uh, 1036 was at that time. I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and we got to 1027 that time, so we're still dropping a little bit in voltage. So let's uh, test it and see what we get on the amps now. Ready? Three, two, one, two, seven. So slightly, it hasn't lost much in the amps. Still 270 milliamps, and I think that's what the fourth discharge on it. So let's uh, see if it gets in, gets back to 10127. I'll be back. All right, now I'm back, and we made it back to 102, and it's still climbing real slow. But one thing I've noticed, can you see that little black spot right there on the edge of the uh, of the uh, negative electrode and the and the paper? That looks like a bleed through going on right there to me. But uh, and uh, this is jumping around. We were look, we were up to 102, and now we've dropped back down to uh, one. 0.007 so uh, it looks like we got a short going on in there but we're going to go ahead and test it right here and see what we get all right yep, now look at us back to 1021 again so let's uh, short it and see what we get three two one two three that time okay so Looks like we're shorting out, but I'm really amazed that it produced as much as much power as it did. So let's uh, let's take it apart now and see if there's a short. And uh, but actually, before we well, as I must say, I was going to add I was going to add some graphite to it to see what it what it jumped up to. It does look like this may be bleeding through a little bit, but let's uh, go ahead and paint some graphite on that, and then see what we get out of this. All right, let's see what that does. It should boost the power unless we got too bad a short. Even with the short, it should boost the power. All right, kind of making a mess. All right, now we're climbing. See, our voltage are climbing back up. We got more water in the cell by putting that in there. But even now, it looks it's still flipping around. All right. But then let's see what we got here, ready? Three, two, one, three, three hundred. So really didn't didn't climb that much more, did it? Probably because we got a short going on. Alright, um let me figure out what to do next. Well, I'm back and there's really not enough time to uh do much else. So uh but overall, I'm really pleased with uh, how that uh, graphite performs. Wow, I mean, that was four drops about on there, and that was just that. And so we know that uh, that, that stuff works pretty well. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.